Hey, we got a bidder. 10, 9, 8, 7. Come on, bid. 6, 5. Come on, don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't. Yes. Hey, welcome to Flying Wheels and Flipping $400 into a Ferrari. Today's video is about the Aston Martin. We started with $400. We now have an Aston Martin. Wait a minute. No, we don't, because this week we're going to sell the Aston Martin. That's what today's video is about, and I'm super excited. This is a 2007 Aston Martin DB9 that I bought for less than the price of a brand new Camry, which is amazing. This car was $176,000 new. It's a 6-liter V12 that is just absolutely incredible. It has blown my mind in more ways than one. It is so fun to drive. It is classy. It is luxurious. It is a head turner. It is an exotic supercar that competes directly with Ferrari, which is amazing to think that this is a Ferrari series and we have an Aston Martin. We've had a Bentley. Like we started this with $400 not that long ago, just over a year ago. And I'm doing it really, really part time. So in today's video, we're gonna try to sell this Aston Martin on Cars and Bids, the Doug DeMuro YouTuber website that is kind of like eBay, kind of like Bring a Trailer. It's like the halfway between the two. So I tried to list my Bentley Continental GT and it was an absolute fail. It was a flop. They wanted not enough money. Their reserve was really, really low and I just can't sell it for a loss like that. We ended up selling the Bentley and we made some money on it. We actually did really, really well on it. The Aston Martin, however, was accepted on cars and bids, and that's what today's video is about. We're gonna list it, wait the week out. You get to find out if it sells, and you get to find out for how much. That's really, really cool. So, Aston Martin video, $400 Ferrari flip video, let's get going. <laughs> So hey everyone, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels and this is a 2007 Aston Martin DB9. It's actually a step better than the Vanquish. The, the Aston Martin Vanquish. The Vanquish has a V8. This has a six liter V12 with a sound like no other car that I've ever driven before. So I bought this car just under two months ago and I've had an absolute blast with it. I got to drive an Aston Martin and I own it for $400. Now what do I mean by that? Well I bought a car, fixed a car, cleaned a car, sold a car all the way until I had enough money to buy an Aston Martin. Now I bought this car for just under $40,000 almost two months ago and I've been driving it and really really enjoying it. We had a Bentley Continental GT right before this. We sold it. I used the money from that to pay off this one. And we have $15,000 as well. So I have an Aston Martin for just about $40,000 and $15,000. That's like near Ferrari level, maybe in 2019. Nowadays, everything's way overinflated. But we have about $55,000, which is really, really cool. Now, to list things on cars and bids was a little bit of a process. I had to apply for it. I had to get the approval for it. And then they set a reserve. They set a reserve for $40,000, which is what I own this car for, which is kind of a bummer, but in in light of the whole theme and the YouTube series and everything, as long as we hit the reserve, which is our break even price, I'm just gonna let it go. Some lucky bidder might get it for what I own it for as a licensed dealer, and I thought I got a pretty great deal on this car. Who knows, today we're gonna find out on Cars and Bids. Let's go to my shop and find out the process and what they need, how do we get this thing listed up, and how does Cars and Bids work? Because we actually haven't really sold anything on Cars and Bids yet. Cars and Bids is actually fairly simple. I submitted the application for the vehicle. It's like the same as bring a trailer. You upload some photos, you give a description, year, make, model, mileage, VIN, and they get back to you. And they're pretty quick with getting back to you, and they give you an idea of what they think it'll sell for. Someone might score on this car, or I could make a ton of money, I don't really know. Now I submitted the application, they approved it, they gave me the reserve of $40,000, and then they requested more photos. So we took it and we got some really well done photographs, we edited them, we took pictures of all the imperfections of the car, and then we uploaded them. So the Aston Martin's all set, it is going live uh, this coming Friday, and then we just sit back and relax and let the bidders come in. Hey, real quick, it's giveaway time. So I'm gonna announce one of the winners from last week's video with the Keeps Hair products. Now I wanna say real quick, there is a scammer in all of the comment sections for every video. It's sad to say it, like it's really disappointing. Someone is trying to scam all of you. If you don't see me say your name on a video, you didn't win anything. So don't pay anyone anything if they say you won something. If it isn't from me with my voice personally, okay? If I, I am even ashamed that I have to say that. 
but there's somebody out there trying to take advantage of all of you. Now, today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. I'm going to give away some stuff in just a minute. Right now, I'm announcing the winner from the Keeps products. So I'm going to scroll through the phone real quick. And I'm going to just pick someone right now. Let's see. Jordan Best. I could certainly use some Keeps. Just got my Finasteride prescription, so it would pair nicely. Jordan Best, you are the winner of a Keeps products. Congratulations. Message me through my website, and I'll get your address and info. Now, without further ado, today's giveaway is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Let's check it out. Months worth of products that I'm about to give away to you guys. Are from Bespoke Post, it's a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes of top-shelf goods from under-the-radar brands. It's free to join, and you can cancel anytime. Every month, Bespoke Post introduces their members to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more. Even live oysters, based on preferences and a quiz that you fill out when you sign up. Every box has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of the value. Preview your boxes before it's shipped. You'll Get a box assigned to you and before it's shipped you'll get a preview of what's coming inside and you can decide if you like it you want to keep it or if you want to swap it out for a different box you can skip the month entirely at no charge and you only pay for what you want well they sent me a bunch of stuff so we're gonna open it up and see what's actually in here coasters 10 minute crosswords whiskey glasses a reed diffuser to stimulate your senses as you wind the night down cigar cutter Manual on 33 cigars tasting notebook clothing refresh spray cigar tube cigar holders that's awesome line of trade men's bag all you have to do is comment down below, bespoke post in the comment section, like this video, and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Super easy. Well, if you want to try out bespoke post out for yourself, you can get 20% off your first box by clicking the link in the description down below and entering the code FW20 at checkout. Or you go to bespokepost.com forward slash FW20. Let's get on with the video. But now, coolest features about this Aston Martin, one of my favorites, actually isn't the car at all, it's what comes standard with the car and it's in the trunk. Follow me and I'll show you. So when I opened the trunk, I couldn't figure out what these holders were in here and it was for an umbrella. The car comes standard with an umbrella so you never get caught. In the rain. On the topic of starting this car, before we head to my shop, I want to just kind of complain for a second. This car is very redundant. Like why is there a key and a push to start? I love the idea of push to start. I push it, it sounds amazing when it starts up, but I have to take the key out, put it in every single time, and then push the button, which is, like I said, just redundant and kind of a pain in the butt. Now from what I'm told, this thing tends to break pretty often. So for it to still be functioning, it sounds like it's kind of a miracle because those things tend to go. The other thing is these get really ticky and this one isn't really ticky, which is nice. I mean, in the engine, you get like a really loud tick. Now it's so freaking fast. Now what's cool is it's not just fast like zero to 60, it's fast at like 170 miles an hour. It's really smooth. So as smooth as 65 miles an hour might be, 150 plus is apparently just as smooth. I can't tell you firsthand. I haven't done that. I actually haven't gone faster than the speed limit, maybe? So I'm also taking off for a week to the UK to go watch my son play soccer overseas, which I'm really, really excited about. And while we're there, the car will be running live on Cars and Bids, and when we get back, we get to see how we did. So, and with the theme of British cars, I thought that would be the perfect opportunity to go scope out some cars over in England while I'm there. I'm thinking Range Rovers and Aston Martins and Bentleys. I don't really know what to expect, but guess what? You guys get to come along with me. So let's go over to the UK. Hey Lou, all the way to the UK, so maybe we can see some other cars from England while we're on the subject. Behind me, Buckingham Palace. Did you know it has 775 rooms, 75 of which are bathrooms? There's 85 rooms just for the help, the employees that work here. One of them, whose full-time job is to just wind the clocks all day. One person, his job, sole job, is to wind clocks all day because there are so many clocks in Buckingham Palace that are old and antiques that they still need to be wound up. Uh, Big Ben, that's actually not Big Ben. Big Ben is the bell inside that building. I just found that out. This is actually a really rare car, not because it's a newer 911, because it's a Targa. They didn't make many of these Targas, and it's pretty cool to see it in right-hand drive. This is what their auto repair garages look like. There's another one that works on RVs. Right in the street. Check out this Ford Ranger. First of all, no rust. 
Second of all, it's a crew cab. RXKR. So far, my favorite of the day. Said an SLR AMG. It's a matte green wrap. Wow, that's sharp. Got a GTR here. I've never noticed on the Mini Coopers, that's half and half of the UK flag. Wow. Good looking Defender right here. British car in Britain. So basic. Panamera GTS. Wagon, what do they call this? What do they call the four-door wagon? I forget. They make them in the Taycan as well now. Wow, this Ranger is really, really good looking. Twin turbo, lifted, Ranger, crew cab. Wow, that is really cool looking. Oh, that is sharp. M2. Well, we have some good old American muscle. But it's right hand drive. Again, like every other video, I gotta fit that in. Really cool. Wow, that's so weird to see it like that. Hmm, I've never been to Poundland before. I have taken my wife to their sister location though. Well, I'm back from the UK and it was an amazing trip and I hope you enjoyed some of those cars. It was pretty cool. No Aston Martins though. I saw no Aston Martins, lots of Bentleys. Now back to our Aston Martin. The auction is still live. I have a couple more days left and it's pretty neat. Like I get a notification every time somebody places a bid. It started real low to like attract the buyers and we're still pretty far away. We're at like $28,000. We get to get at least 40 just to break even and again I hope we get a lot more than that but I get notifications every time somebody makes a comment I get a notification every time somebody makes a bid and the comments are all pretty positive even some of them are from you guys so thanks for the support in the auction as well a couple more days let's see how we do hey guess what sneak preview to our lake house disaster that isn't such a disaster anymore you guys are getting to see a behind the scenes that's not what this is about I have two minutes left on the Aston Martin two minutes 16 seconds $38,000, to be honest with you, I set the reserve, here's a secret, I set the reserve at $40,000. So we're still $2,000 away from actually being able to sell this car with two minutes left. So we're gonna watch it count down and see how we do. 40 seconds, $38,000, we're still $2,000 away, it's just not gonna happen. I can't sell it for a loss. 30 seconds, you can actually see the ticker going down. We're so close, come on guys. I'll sell it for what I own it for. I was hoping it would go for around 45, which is what I thought was realistic. Hey, 38,300, we got a bidder, which is nice because now it resets. So we got another minute. I hope people start, uh, I hope we get into a bidding war because we need at least 1,700 more dollars, which is asking a lot, but I oh, hope 38,550. All right, we're doing it, we're doing it. Is it going to climb? Come on guys, 1500 bucks. We're $1,000 away, so we're getting there. 10, nine, eight, seven, come on bid, six, five, come on, don't let it go, don't let it go, don't, yes, 39.5. All right, all we need is one more $500 bid. Come on baby, let's go. Guess what? Car just sold, 40 grand so far, and let's see if it keeps climbing. Anything over this is now a profit, and I got to enjoy an Aston Martin. 10, come on, help me make a profit at least. Seven, six, five, four. Yes! I have officially made $250 on that car. Oh, we got another hit. I have officially made $500 on the, oh, I've made $750 on the Aston Martin, and it looks like we have a little bit of a bidding war. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, man, is that it? Come on, man, is that all? Checking what? What's it checking? Sold for $40,750. Well, dang, I would almost rather keep that car for 40 grand. That is, it's a supercar. It is an unbelievable car. 
But now we get to move on. We had some fun. I got to drive an Aston Martin for free for a month and a half, which is pretty cool. And I learned about Aston Martins, and I got to try out cars and bids, and we got to make some fun videos. So it wasn't a complete bust. We made $750. I'm not quite sure if there were fees related to it. I'm not sure how to contact the buyer. I don't know what's next. So I'm just going to sit back and wait, and then we'll continue this video. Was it a bust? Was it not a bust? I mean, life is about the journey, not the destination, right? It's not about the Ferrari at the end of the tunnel. It's about the journey to get to the Ferrari. And I got to drive an Aston Martin for free for almost two months. I got to make some videos and have some fun with it and interact with you guys along the way and learn how cars and bids work. So I wouldn't really consider it a loss in the grand scheme. Financially and on the road to the Ferrari, it kind of was a failure. I mean, we made $750, which I, mean, I drove an Aston Martin for two months and I made $750. When you say it out loud, that's kind of neat, but I'm not in the business to break even. And on these cars, what I'm finding, like with my Ferrari, with my Bentley, with this car, there's not much money to be made on these cars. I mean, I've made more money on the Honda Civic flips, significantly more money on the Honda Civics and the Jeep Wranglers and even the Honda Accord that we started with. That first car, I think it was a Chevy Malibu actually. Our Chevy Malibu, we made like $1,000 on that and that car only cost us $400. This car cost me 40 and I only made $750. Now, it's a lot more grand, it's a lot cooler looking, but clearly you can't be buying and selling exotics for massive profits, especially in Danville, New Hampshire. There's just no market for it. Had it been winter, this thing would have sold for even less. Now we have $55,000. Now do I buy a car for $55,000 or do I buy a cheap car and a fun car? I enjoyed having like those cheap cars and the nice car. Like I had the Bentley and I was moving the process along, which was really cool. So I think I might search for like something fun, really nice, and some flip stuff so we can keep the series going and we can keep rolling because like I said, I make way more money on the cheap cars than I do on this stuff. And if I just keep buying these things, I'm never gonna get to that Ferrari. So I think the car is getting picked up. So let's go back to my shop. Let's get it washed and let's see if I've got paid yet because I don't even think I have. Completely off topic of the Aston Martin. Check this out. This is my R33 that I bought almost a year ago. I bought it last summer and I haven't done a thing with it. It's literally been sitting in my garage since I think like last August. And I'm almost ready to bring it to my brother's. He restores old Nissans. He has a GTR, he has a bunch of 240s. So in like coming up in the next few videos, this skyline is going to my brother's to get painted. And we're gonna show you the whole process of what we, how we got it, what we paid for it. And how cool this right-hand drive turbo RB25 six cylinder JDM, like imported from Japan Skyline. So the Aston Martin sold on cars and bids, which is cool, but it sold for way, way less than I wanted. I mean like $10,000 less almost than I wanted. Now the problem is it sold Friday. I didn't hear from the buyer until yesterday, which was Monday, which is fine because I think cars and bids take some while to get each other's contacts over. Now the buyer, I'm, I have a very strict payment policy. If anyone's paying in other than cash or wire, we hold everything for five business days, which is a full week, seven full days, because checks can be forged, even cashiers and banks checks. They can be drafted from your own printer and they're false and then I deposit it and then four days later, it bounces from my checking account. Meanwhile, somebody has my car on the other side of the country. So we do not accept payments. We don't accept personal checks ever, but anything bank drafted, certified bank check, anything like that, we keep the car for a week. I told the buyer this. The only way he can have the car quickly is if he comes with cash, which is kind of unrealistic, $40,000 in cash, or if he wires the money. So if he wires the money, that is an instant transfer. I'll see it usually the next morning. So he said, okay, I'll do it today. That was yesterday. He did not. He did it today. Today he also called me and said, hey, there's gonna be a shipper there in four hours. Now, I have no problem being a jerk. Sadly, I, I hate to say it that way, but you would call me a jerk, I would say straightforward. I told him straightforward so there's no confusion. Listen, if I do not receive the funds, I will not release the car. So this morning he called and said he's going to my bank to deposit the phone. This is him actually. Hello. Hey Craig, Hi. again. <laughs> Hi. Um, so yeah, just uh, yeah, the wire went through successfully. I talked to Capital One and they said that it, yeah, everything went smoothly so it should be in your bank account now okay great uh, yeah so
so we should be all set. All right, I spoke to the shipper too. They did call me and tell me they'll be here within four hours. I'm washing your okay. car now and just prepping it, so it's, it's ready to go when they get here. Uh, hang on one sec, I'll check my account. It usually isn't it usually isn't that instant, but if it shows up right now, I'll be I'll be amazed and we're good to go. <laughs> Wire transfer credit forty thousand seven fifty. Yep, it's in, so we're good to go. I'm prepping your car now and, and you're all set. Awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I loved this car and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Yeah, no, I can't wait. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'll let you know when it gets picked up. Awesome. Well, there we go. The payment went through. That's the fastest wire I've ever seen. And even wires sometimes take like four, six, eight hours or next day. I'll see it overnight. This one showed up right away. Now, is it real? I don't know. I hope so. So I'm going to call my bank and verify because it's a lot of money. $40,750 is a lot of money. You don't want to gamble and trust people and hope it went through. So I'm going to verify and we should be good. And then the Aston Martin leaves today for really a break even which is kind of a bummer now i have to go shopping and start all over the cool thing though is at least i got to drive an aston martin for like a month and a half and made like i can't say i made any money i didn't really make any money i broke even and drove an aston martin which is a pretty cool part of this job i uh i own a business and i just received a wire transfer for a vehicle we sold and i wanted to confirm that the funds were received and it was a wire and that it's like safe to give the, the customer the car so that was credited for the forty thousand seven hundred fifty dollars yes yes that is definitely not in your account okay so it can't be removed it can't be taken back or anything like that it's our money as good as cash correct great thank you very much yes. i have been scammed in the past like when i was first starting out at 18 years old and it cost me four thousand dollars it was like every dime i had I lost faith in humanity because of it. I couldn't believe that someone would cheat me like that. I was just heartbroken over it and it changed me. Since then, I always make sure I cover my butt. You cannot trust that people are giving you what they say they are. And it's sad to say, but there's a lot of people out there that are willing to take advantage of you with forged checks or, or fraudulent cashiers and bank checks. I mean, anybody can print it off with today's printer. So you really have to be careful with Google codes or with Facebook and Craigslist scams. There's always someone out there trying to take advantage of you. So I try to do the best I can to just verify everything and CYA, cover my own butt, all right? So with the car, I like I said, I wouldn't release that car unless the funds have been received the same day. Typically, I never do that. Now, I hope those aren't my famous last words. Everything seems to be good. I verified it on his end. He showed me it coming out of his bank account. I verified it on my end, I saw it going into my bank account, and I called my bank. So everything should be good. We should be good, but the key word here is should. Shipper's coming soon today, and the car is gone. And then this week, we can go to the auction and see what we can come up with, with for like up to $55,000. Hey, great news. I'm just putting together all my paperwork, and I found my buyer slip for when I purchased the Aston Martin. I didn't pay 40000 I paid 39310 so if I take 40,750 minus 39,310, I actually made $1,440 on that Aston Martin. Now we had some time into it. We have the cost of doing business. Cars and bids doesn't charge us anything. They actually charge the buyer $1,850, which is insane. That buyer's fee is crazy. But we made $1,440, which is a complete turnaround. I'm, I basically doubled my profit from what I thought. Now the return on that is terrible. So if I do the math, it's actually like a 3.65% return, which is awful. Awful return on your money in any business venture. It's actually way worse than inflation, but it's better than had I put it in stocks because the stock market is down, crypto's way down. So it would have lost money if I put my money in those things. So I made 3.5% on my money when everything else plummeted recently. So that's pretty good. And it's still better than I would have gotten for a return in a bank account. What this is officially gonna be the last time I'm ever in this Aston Martin. It's It. I'm sad to see that car go. That's the end of our Aston Martin video, I guess. But now we have $55,000 to spend and the auction's coming up. So question is, do I spend the whole 55,000 
or do I break it up into like one nice car and one cheap car? How do I make this process continuously happen? Because these cars take a long time to sell and they don't make that much money. So if I just keep selling exotics and high-end cars, we're never gonna get to that Ferrari. For now, thanks for watching. I'd love to hear your comments down below. If you can give us a thumbs up down below, that helps boost our algorithm. As always, I appreciate all your support. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you click that circle in the center of the screen, that is to subscribe to our channels. Videos to the left and to the right are best recommended videos and playlists. And if you could do me a favor and just hit the thumbs up down below, I'd really appreciate it because it will help us boost our algorithm, which helps us grow our channel.